Hey everybody, it's Amber for Hope Healing Our Past Experiences. And I just wanted to take a moment and talk to you about the, the mask I wore for years. You know, people would ask me, how are you? And I would say, I'm fine. You know, and I was lying to myself, but it was a lie that I believed. And so, although it was more acceptable by society to put that mask on and just fake it for life, you know, um, it's what others expected of me was to be fine. When in the inside I was broken and I was miserable and I was so afraid, afraid of so many things, betrayal and rejection, because I had been betrayed at a really early age. My dad is my perpetrator and he had abused me from as far back as I can remember. And so I want the opportunity to be able to share my heart with you on October 13th. We're really hoping to gather and rally a bunch of women to be able to share our hearts with so that you know that you're not alone, that those you love and that you care about are not alone who have experienced sexual abuse, misuse, and trauma. But it's not just about knowing you're not alone. See, we can acknowledge that we've experienced that, but it's really the difference when we start to do the work to overcome that. And it is work, but work that is so worth it. Because when we change, those around us are forced to change whether they like it or not. And it's not about being in control, but like brokenness raises brokenness, even with the best of intentions not to. Let me tell you just a little glimpse of what you can expect that day. I know what a perpetrator fears. Are you wondering? You need to come and you need to find out because there is only one thing that a perpetrator fears. And I want you to be equipped and empowered with the tools to be able to overcome those things that have happened maybe to you or maybe to others around you. Come see us on October 13th at the Osage Center. Check it out on eventbrite.com. Registration is only $10. See you then.